Okay, I thought I was going to finish this in two, but I didn't get to do it. Um, all right, there's the uh, there's the axe carve right there, and this is another axe that I did carve. And as I showed you, as I was trying to get into the last video, this is one that I've already carved, and I took it and I I just painted a little gray and black on the, on the on the blade, and I carved a little bit of uh, brown on the handle. Painted that with a little acrylics. And I, I went out and got the tree branch. And I just took that tree branch and I cut on my bandsaw and then I uh, cut a notch in it and I super glued my little axe onto it. You see? See what I'm saying? Now, this is a perfect little gift for a paperweight or something like that or just, just to give to somebody. And uh, like I said, I've seen them where, uh, in fact, Silver Doll City in Tennessee, their emblem is a, an axe in a, a trunk of a tree. So you can attach this to a base or you can just give it to someone like that in other words and just tell them that you know you carved a little little axe and, and it'll be a good little old gift for someone. I'll tell you what now it's just a very simple little old gift but but uh, like I said people enjoy getting something hand carved. They really do. Uh, they enjoy uh, having something that uh, is is made by you or whatever and, and like I said it's just real simple uh, as you can see, I just it didn't take long to carve that little little axe out there. Now this one's got a little bit bigger head and stuff, but uh, uh, I carved this and just a little bit thinner is all. Okay, well that's our project right there. And I thought what I'd do now is I got a little time left. I thought you know a lot of you are sitting here watching me carve, and uh, I know you're probably asking yourself the type of cuts that I make and and what exactly. Uh, what you have to understand about wood carving is that there are, I only make about two or three, four different cuts. And all the projects I do, that's all I make. And this is the most, this is like a pairing cut that I call. This is, uh, this is like whenever you're, you're, you're doing an apple or whatever, you're peeling an apple. You just take the knife and you put your thumb up against the piece itself and you just remove it like an apple, like you're peeling an apple. See? And you just just take off that part right there. Now uh, you can buy as as a newcomer. I would suggest that you buy what's called a thumb guard. Now if you don't have the money, that's all right. Go get you some of those big band aids and wrap you one around your thumb every time you carve. And it's got enough padding in it where it's going to protect your thumb in case it slips. Uh, so. Uh, it's, it's, it's good as a, as, a, as a newcomer to wear a thumb guard. Uh, I used to wear one a long time ago, and uh, I, I really should still do it. But uh, uh, I usually wear, like I said, I wear a carbon glove. But that thumb guard, in case you slip, will prevent you from nicking yourself. Okay, now you see that's the pairing cut I use a lot whenever I carve. And it's just, you see, it's just it's pushing the knife, but getting your thumb out of the way, and just so you can put a little force against it. Now, another cut that I use that you see a lot me, uh, that I do, is what's called, a, I call it a little push cut. And this is probably the safest cut that a wood carver can use. And what I'm doing, see, see how my, I'm just taking the knife like this and I'm laying it against the wood. But I'm using this thumb to just push it. See? All I'm doing is just pushing it just like that. Now, at first it may be a little awkward for you to do this. But once you do it a few times, and once you kind of get used to it, and that is a, that's what I call a push cut, just to remove wood. And that's probably one of the safest cuts that you can use because it, is, it, it, it keeps the knife blade away from you. And that's, uh, that's called a push cut. So you just use your thumb like that when you're holding your piece, and just push on your thumb and just remove that wood just like that, see? Okay, so we've learned too. We've used the pairing cut, and we've learned the push cut, like that. Now, a lot of times you'll see me when I'm working on something that uh, I, I, a lot of the Scandinavian type carving is done with no, it was known as the V cuts. Now, what all a V cut is is simply that you take your knife and at an angle you dig in like that. Okay. Then you turn it over, you take your knife, and you dig in, and you remove that. 
See what I'm saying? See what you're doing? Now, you can do that with an eye, but I would suggest that you come back and cut it. And a lot of the cuts that I make around the face and things like that are V cuts. And, and the thing about carving is that's basically the type of cut that I used. If you watch me when I'm carving, I use those three basic types of cuts. V cut, the paring cut, and what I call the push cut. And those are the, the basic three that, that I use whenever I whittle or carve. And uh, if you learn all three of those, you're going to be pretty good at carving, really. It's, it's not going to... Gonna, uh... Now, I would recommend as a beginner not to use hardwood. I recommend basswood, and I'll tell you why. Because the grain and hardwood sometimes are hard to figure out, and uh, you've got to have, have a lot sharper knife. And basswood, I'm sorry, it's just the finest carbon wood you can get. And uh, so I would stay with basswood as a beginner. I would not go any further than that. And uh, I, would, I would use that strictly. So once again, let me uh, uh, say the paring cut, the push cut, and... V cut like that. See the V type cut. Now, also as a beginner, I want to introduce you to this book. It's called Wood Carving Illustrated. It's a magazine that you can get once a month. I think it's nineteen twenty dollars for a full year. Get it twice a month. Excuse me, uh, every two months. Excuse me. And this is obviously the best wood carving. One of the best wood carving uh, magazines you can get a hold of. Uh, they do have others. They have chip chats, but I, I I love wood carving magazine and illustrate.